Welcome to another episode of Principal Science. Episode 22, I believe it is. So excited. Got another demonstration by Mrs. Ferris. Got one of my favorite stories of all time, Jessica. And, well, I had a friend named Jimmy, so you'll see how that turns out. Another great scientist for you. More science vocabulary. And, friends, it is Teacher Appreciation Week, so I hope you find a way from a distance to show your teachers that you appreciate them. All right, enjoy episode 22, Principal Science. Scientists say meteorology. This word describes the study of processes in the Earth's atmosphere. Meteorology includes the study of the weather, temperature, wind, storms, and more. People who work in this field are called meteorologists. Meteorologists may observe or research the weather. They may also forecast it based on data. A common place to see meteorologists is on the daily news where they give weather forecasts. Others study the atmosphere to learn what causes certain types of weather. Hi friends, I wanna share one of my favorite books, one of my favorite authors. This is Jessica by Kevin Hinkes. When I was little, we moved to a small town and I didn't immediately have a lot of friends. And so I had a Jessica of my own. Ruthie Sims didn't have a dog. She didn't have a cat or a brother or a sister, but Jessica was the next best thing. Jessica went wherever Ruthie went, to the moon, to the playground, to Ruthie's grandma for the weekend. There's no Jessica, said Ruthie's parents, but there was. She ate with Ruthie, looked at books with Ruthie, and took turns stacking blocks with Ruthie, building towers. If Ruthie was mad, so was Jessica. If Ruthie was sad, Jessica was too. And if Ruthie was glad, Jessica felt the same way. When Ruthie accidentally spilt some juice, she said Jessica did it, and that Jessica was sorry. When Ruthie's parents called the babysitter because they wanted to go to a movie, one night Ruthie said, Jessica had a stomach ache and wants you to stay home. And when Ruthie turned five, it was Jessica's fifth birthday, too. There is no Jessica, said Ruthie's parents. But there was. She went to bed with Ruthie, she got up with Ruthie, and she stayed with Ruthie all the while in between. On the night before the first day of kindergarten, Ruthie's mother said, I think Jessica should stay home tomorrow. Ruthie's father said, You'll meet a lot of nice children and make new friends. But Jessica went with her anyway. Jessica wanted to go home so badly that Ruthie had to hold her hand and whisper to her. When the teacher announced everyone's name, Ruthie and Jessica weren't listening. Jessica crawled through the tunnel with Ruthie. She took a nap with Ruthie, and she shared Ruthie's paintbrush during art. When all the children lined up two by two to march to the bathroom, Jesse, Jessica was next to Ruthie in line. A girl came up to Ruthie and stood by her and said, can I be your partner? Ruthie didn't know what to say. My name is Jessica, said the girl. It is, said Ruthie. The girl nodded. Mine's Ruthie, said Ruthie, smiling. And they walked down the hallway, hand in hand, Ruthie Sims didn't have a dog, she didn't have a cat, or a brother or a sister, but Jessica was even better. So when I was growing up, I had Jimmy. Scientist of the day is James Watt. He lives from 1736 to 1819. He was the father of the Industrial Revolution. He radically improved the steam engine, invented high pressure steam engines, and he independently discovered latent heat. He also invented the world's first copying machine. That is our scientist of the day, James Watt. On this day in the year 2000, a conjunction of five bright planets, Mercury, Venus, Mars, Jupiter, and Saturn, formed a rough line across the sky with the sun and moon. Unfortunately, nothing was visible from Earth because the line of the planets was behind the sun and hidden in its brilliance. Such a conjunction last happened in February of 1962 and will not happen again until eight, April 2438, the year 2438.
That is really cool. That happened on this day in the year. Science principal, Mrs. Ferris is going to introduce you to electromagnets, electromagnetism. This is really cool. I did not know magnets to do this. I thought they just stuck to things. I didn't know they could make energy. This is really cool, so enjoy. So Griffin and I are going to show you some demonstrations with electromagnets. So using a magnet, we can create electricity. So here are a couple things you can do. If you get a D battery and a screw, and then a couple magnets at the bottom. Now watch what happens. I'm going to put the screw to the positive side of the battery and I can let go and the magnetism holds it in place. Then using this copper wire, I'll touch it to the negative side of the battery. And when I bring it down here to, oh, there we go, try again. When we bring it here to the positive side, you'll see what happens. The screw begins spinning and that is the electricity going through the copper wire which is causing, um, and due to the magnets, it's creating an electric, uh, electrical circuit. All right, here's another demonstration using a PVC pipe, and this is copper wire and some LED lights. And here we have our little magic wands that have two, uh, magnets on it. Mine has two magnets, and Griffin's has four magnets. So um, using these magnets, we could make the lights light up with electricity. So here we go. Mine are kind of duller because there's only two magnets, but Griffin's is very bright because his has four magnets. So he has a stronger um, electromagnet than I do. That was fantastic. I hope you enjoyed this episode. We'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Ta-ta for now.